Now, um, uh, this is for you from Lucy. She's emailed. The other night when I was bleaching the sink, I had a great business idea which would need Alison's kind permission. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking of opening up a garden centre specialising in hardy perennials. <laughs> Do you know where this is I going? I can see where this is going. Carry I on. I need a catchy name and I've come up with Alison's Ferns. Yeah, if she has my permission. Any I'll only take 50%. Any problems with this? I can't split the profits. I'm happy to give you 10% off a bonsai. <laughs> She's too kind. Why was she bleaching her sink? Was it a sink or a bath? Do people do that? I've never bleached my sink or my bath in my life. Am I missing out on something here? Bleach is wonderful. Oh, I hate bleach. No, it's lovely. No. It gives the sink a lovely fresh smell after you've, you know, not really cleaned it properly for a couple of days and it's got greasy, filmy. A bit of gr just, just about an inch of water in your sink, mm -hmm. a couple of squirts of bleach, just leave it there. <sighs> comes back, comes so perma clean. Look at you! What? You're glowing with excitement as you describe Well, I've had a number of good experiences with bleach. I won't ask. No, no. Years ago, if you had a pair of jeans and they were, you know, useless, knackered, or whatever you just get a washing up bowl a couple of pot maybe this is illegal so I'm not sure if you say this but this is what I used to do illegal well Dave bad for your health oh right get a washing up bowl or a bucket put in fill it up three quarters with uh, hot water half a tub of bleach you know half a bottle of bleach put your jeans in and they come out looking leave them there for about two hours and they yeah. come out looking interesting I'm sure they would interesting and tighten Taught, mm. fit in nether regions, you know. <laughs> oh, so yeah. So I've got good. I'm, I'm comfortable with bleach. You don't use bleach down the toilet. I use bleach, yeah, down the toilet. But I've never bleached my bath or my sink. I squirt it down the toilet because yes, you know, it's down there. Yes. But the bath or the sink, I just use. I suppose the products I use have bleach in them. How don't about they? on the patio? Do you have a patio? I do have a patio. What, does it get mossy? Does it get um, well, it's green? Well, you say green, that. Algae? This will be the second summer on the patio. Yes. And it's got second summer looking, if you know what I mean. It's got and algae. I'm going to have to use the bleach. It's got algae. Do you want to know how to do it? Go on. Jim, first of all, it's necessary to dilute the bleach. Not so much to take away the top edge of its activity, but to <clears throat> just make it go further. Depends how big your patio is. Yeah. All right. Then you want to get uh, an ordinary but stiff outside broom. You've given this some thought. I do. These are things I do. Yeah. This okay. is what people do. Yeah. You okay. know, whilst they're waiting for other things to happen. Yeah. <laughs> As John Lennon said. Um, and then you need to just w just just spread it as quickly as you can across the patio. Yeah. Give it a little rub with the broom. Yeah. But the point is this: the algae will disappear almost by magic. Oh. You don't have to sweep it off or anything. It will just go. But then you have to be very careful with your whole bucket of water. Yeah. When you clean the patio off, remember that bleach still has, you know, some potency. So, if you love your lawn, don't whoosh it out across the lawn. Mm. The best thing to do, I'm lucky, I've got a manhole cover in the middle of the patio. Right. So I've got, I can already envision the problem. Lift it off, lift it off and down it goes. Now, I don't know if that's unecological and it's possibly illegal and I might get arrested in the morning by the sanitary police. Or customs and excise, or somebody, for what I do with bleach on the patio. I don't know how I'm going to brush mine off. I'm on a roof terrace. <laughs> do you like the people below? <laughs> yes. I do, yes. I'd rather not fall out with them. Well, discuss it with them. Yeah. <laughs> discuss it with them. We'll be sitting there on a Sunday morning. Or get them to watch breakfast. John Craven's News Round. Bleach on my hair. If they watch a couple of John Craven's News Round, then acid rain will not come as any surprise <laughs> to them at all, along with, you know, the rainforests. Yeah. You know, the hole in the ozone layer, global warming, mm. the whole thing, icebergs tumbling into the sea. The latest thing on Gr John Craven's new, they frighten the children once a week. And the latest this week was um, an iceberg is going to fall into the sea and the sea level is going to be raised by 15 feet. Now, why yeah. tell people that? After the terrible events already of this year, without stressing possibly, 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 worst case scenario, but they don't. No, they don't. They say scientists are concerned that. Which is almost like saying it's going to happen. And I'm not for that. Frightening no, it horses, is. It's yeah, it is quite scary. Frightening the horses, and I'm not so uh, comfortable. Because about they it. always say experts say, and so you yes. sort of think, well, if experts have said yes. it, then it must be true. I read a piece in today in um, Wednesday's Guardian 
Apparently the new commissioner of the Met Police has said, or it's been picked out, that one of the things he's said is that he's going to crack down on the casual use of cocaine. Mm. Okay. So the Guardian newspaper followed this up with a big double page thing talking to people who used cocaine. Mm. And it had six particular cases. And it was like, um, Alison, 31, media. And she went on about, you know, what happened at parties and things. I really wish you hadn't used my name, <laughs> I, by no, the way. I, I know, yeah, obviously <laughs> you don't use it, obviously. But it just came from nowhere. A Tom, you know, 52, yeah. you know, um, gambler, you know, blah, blah. And, um, but then he said at the bottom, all names have been changed for obvious reasons, because what they were doing is illegal. So my first th my thought then was, well, how do you know that the journalist has done this? has actually gone and found six separate people who don't know each other. How do you find six people who use cocaine casually? Exactly. Who you don't know. Imagine walking up to people saying, saying, excuse me. I'm doing an article about cocaine. Do you snort? Yeah. <laughs> Are you a snorter? One of those people who disappears to the toilet, mucking about, mirrors, you know? And Bic, Barrows, what are they for? You know, you can't even write with. Oh, I see. Allegedly. Allegedly. Mm. Uh, but it's the same with experts, say. How yeah. do they, they don't say who the expert is, they just say experts mm. say. And it's the same with a close source to the couple says. Yes, a close friend. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of those. Spokesman. Mm. An insider. What's an insider? <laughs> if you went running off and told somebody about some dreadful practice that goes on at the BBC, I'd be, an, I'd be a BBC insider. You'd be, oh, but are you an insider? I am an insider. And do you know what one of my fears is? If I'm ever found dead in a ditch, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what my what they'll, they'll what they'll write in the local paper and and say indeed on BBC Southern Counties Radio? They'll call me a Chichester man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. One of the funny things. I thing. just live there at the moment. One but the I am not thing. a Chichester man. A Chichester a, man was found was, dead in a ditch. Yeah, that reminds me of a funny story. I think it was you who told me this about how you a local... tell me my own stories <laughs> back up because I'm going to find it very hard to laugh. <laughs> oh, you won't. Oh, you, you'll love it. Um, is it a local newspaper somewhere in Yorkshire? Yes. Asked the Titanic. Yes. And their headline and their front yes. page yes. was local Yorkshire lady dies in shipping accident. <laughs> Lo local woman in shipping accident. <laughs> <laughs> local newspapers. But do you know, so, uh, uh, the great headlines of our times? My favourite headline, I yes. think, has to be the sun, um, zip me up before you go-go, when they found um, oh, George Michael yes. up to no good in the toilet in LA. Have you ever heard of the Korean War? Yes. Okay. Uh, the, the, the American, um, the leader of the American forces in the Korean War was called General MacArthur. Mm. And he was a general who liked to actually see the battlefield for himself. But he still had to occasionally take part in various conferences, you know, way back. Yeah. You know, but like, you know, way behind the lines. Anyway, uh, the headline in the Washington Post uh, was General MacArthur flies back to front. <laughs> Which is quite... It's, it's all yeah. right, isn't it? That's not brilliant. My favourite is one during the First World War. British push bottles up Germans. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard? I haven't heard Has that one. Heard? <laughs> it should read, British push bottles up Germans. Yes. That must be a great job, though, being a headline writer. If you're a headline writer, say, for yes. The Sun, is mm -hmm. that just all you do? No. Oh, right. No, no, no. They're great fun writing those headlines, of course. Yeah. Most, most of the time. Um, but, uh, it's why we have lots of words that we have in the English language, like now, a days, even on the radio, um, you have to talk about fury a lot. Mm. But that word only exists in its current form, you know, such as like, you know, uh, fury to, uh, you know, fury greets such and such an announcement. Yeah. Because it's a short word and therefore it'll fit on the front page of a tabloid. Mm. Um, police officers nowadays tend to swoop a lot. They do. Don't they? And have you noticed how many times when people are trying to do things, they are having a bid? They <laughs> yeah. are. Bid to swoop. <laughs> Fury at swoop bid. That's because of the headline thing. Now, it must be fun to, to be writing those headlines. Yeah, my favourite was so. Freddie Star Ate My Hamster. Oh, yeah. Which is a, a legendary. And also, Few What a Scorcher. Oh, yeah. Now, that was way back before colloquialism was allowed. Well, before colloquialism was, you know, the soup du jour. Of um, of newspapers. Do you remember that bloke last week who rang in, rang in to complain seriously because I'd said footy instead of football? 
Oh, and I'd said bloke. Bloke. Instead of gentleman. And I thought about him a lot during the week. Did you? Well, <clears throat> no, not an awful lot. <laughs> I try not to. Yeah, a little it's very bit. unhealthy. Because, um... Oh, hello? Hello there. How's it going? Who's this? It's Alan. Uh, Alan, you're, um, still suspended. Well, I did send you a text, but you never answered. No, you'd be... Because you're still suspended, mate. Yeah. Simbin. Sorry. Yeah, I, I knock, knock for you. No, I told you you're suspended. Off you go. <laughs> Back <laughs> to the Simbin. Yep. Now, um, uh, this is for you, from Lucy. She's emailed. The other night when I was bleaching the sink, I had a great business idea which would need Alison's kind permission. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking of opening up a garden centre specialising in hardy perennials. <laughs> <laughs> you know where this is I going. I can see where this is going. Carry I on. Well, I've had a number of sink. good experiences with bleach. I won't ask. No, no. Years ago, if you had a pair of jeans and they were, you know, useless, knackered, or what have you, just get a washing up bowl, a couple of... Maybe this is illegal, so I'm not sure if you say this, but this is what I used to do. Illegal? Well, Dave, bad for your health. Oh, right. Get a washing up bowl or a bucket, put in, fill it up three quarters. It's a catchy name and I've come up with Alison's Ferns. Yeah, if she has my permission. And I'll only take 50%. Any problems with this? I can't split the profits. I'm happy to give you 10% off a bonsai. <laughs> She's too kind. Why was she bleaching her sink? Was it a sink or a bath? Do people do that? I've never bleached my sink or my bath in my life. Am I missing out on something here? Bleach is wonderful. It's with uh, hot water, half a tub of bleach, you know, half a bottle of bleach. Put your jeans in and they come out looking... Leave them there for about two hours and they yeah. come out looking interesting. I'm sure they would. Interesting. And tighten them, taut. Mm. Fit in nether regions, you know. <laughs> oh! So, yeah, so I've got good. I'm, I'm comfortable with bleach. You don't use bleach? Damn toy? Oh, I hate bleach. No, it's lovely. No. It gives the sink a lovely, fresh smell after you've, you know, not really cleaned it properly for a couple of days and it's got greasy, filmy. A bit of. Just, just about an inch of water in your sink. Mm. A couple of squirts of bleach. Just leave it there. <sighs> comes back, comes so perma clean. Look at you! What? You're glowing with excitement as you just 